Telecommunications firms are rushing to put fixes in place for a newly discovered weakness that potentially makes Wi-Fi modems vulnerable to hackers. Warnings have been issued that people should be careful when using devices such as computers, mobile phones and modems across Mac, Windows, iOS, Android. Linux brands, though no attacks have been reported, that's just about all brands, isn't it? In New Zealand, the government cybersecurity agency CERT NZ and Internet NZ say until fixes are rolled out, people should avoid using Wi-Fi where possible. Emma Hatton has more. The key reinstallation attacks, also known as crack, allow hackers to access devices through a weakness in the WPA2 protocol, which is the encryption responsible for protecting the Wi-Fi network. The WPA2 protocol is the most common encryption used for protecting information sent over a wireless network. The vulnerability was discovered by a team of researchers in Belgium and is thought to affect almost all devices worldwide. Internet New Zealand Deputy Chief Executive Andrew Cushion says it's potentially very serious if hackers gain access. What it means is that, for example, you may think you're going to the Google web page, but in actual fact you're going to a site that's going to download some malicious software. You may find that your printer starts spewing out garbage. You may find that your, um, all of your files have been deleted. Basically, this allows anyone to do anything they like on your otherwise secure Wi-Fi network. Mr Cushion says people can keep themselves safe by plugging in a cable to their home modem or using the data from mobile devices. Fixes, also known as patches, to cover up the weakness in the WPA2 encryption have already started rolling out. Those with Microsoft Windows 7, 8 and 10 software are protected. Apple and Google for Android are understood to both be working on fixes. The country's major internet providers, Spark and Vodafone, also confirm they're urgently working with device manufacturers to rectify the problem. Mr Cushion says internet providers and device manufacturers are right to treat this urgently. I would certainly expect that if there's not a patch available for your equipment within the next week, then you need to be asking some pretty severe questions of the people who made that to say, what's going on here? This is a pretty major vulnerability. But a security engineering researcher with the University of Auckland, Peter Gutman, says the alarm has been overdone. He says it's unlikely an attack will eventuate and sensitive information such as internet banking passwords, credit card details and other data are not at risk of being stolen, so long as people ensured the websites they visit are secure. I don't think it's the major, you know, sort of bring me my brown trousers security event that some people are saying it is because all it's protecting is your traffic as it goes from your phone or laptop to your wireless access point. So, you know, maybe a range of 10 metres or so. Beyond that, once it gets to your ISP, it's still as secure or unsecure as it was before that. But Peter Gutman says businesses that share confidential information over a closed network should be vigilant. Let's say you've got a business and you've got a business competitor that wants to come in and mess around with your internal network. You need to be a bit more careful there. Provide extra security measures to say if you're coming in via a cell phone, then you don't have access to all the, you know, the corporate data and the, the spreadsheets and the accounting information and the financial data via a wireless connection. Cert NZ is urging people to enable automatic upgrades on their devices so that the fix can be applied as soon as it's released by their provider. It also recommends users check the website being accessed starts with HTTPS and has a padlock symbol in the top left browser before entering any personal information. For Checkpoint, Emma Hatton.